Uh, the first couple weeks, it was just uh, me and you know the rest of the rookies. But the last couple uh, weeks, man, guys been coming in, and, you know, like Rondo, Jeff's been in here, and uh, JT, JT Terry. Uh, it's been great, man. So, uh, I mean, the, the rookies had a little edge on those guys because we was in shape and we was working together, learned the plays. So they came in and we beat up one of them a little bit. But uh, the last couple of days, man, they've been, they've been getting this, man. So it's been fun. How has your approach changed or modified from summer league to where you are now heading into training camp? A lot different, man. There's a lot more focus. You know, I was definitely focused on summer league. But right now, I'm just, I'm attention. I got to pay attention to every detail. You know, getting up uh, early and working out, getting getting a good lift in. I'm just trying to eat right, rest well because uh, you know we're going hard. Once we get in the gym at you know 9:30, 10 in the morning, we go hard for about four or five hours, man. And so uh, I have to have the, I have to be mentally tough and uh, just be prepared to go in and you know those long lifts. I'm not used to you know, lifting weights and, and doing the training that I'm doing now, post overseas. A lot different, man. so just mentally and physically, it's just different. Uh, Take us through the, the challenge that you had in making the decision to, to come to camp with partial <laughs> guarantee, whereas yeah. overseas yeah. you would have made obviously a lot more money. Yeah, um, basically, man, I would just this is my dream, and uh, I played overseas for the last three years, and uh, you know, this was I. Actually, like like my money year overseas, like you know, I played very well last year, and this year with the year I would go back with them and a lot of money. But this opportunity came, you know, God bless me with this opportunity with the Celtics. I played very well in uh, Orlando, very well in Vegas, and you know, when Danny Ainge and Austin came with the proposal and my agent, it was like, you know, it was my dream. I couldn't turn it down. I had a long talk with my dad, and he basically was just saying, you know, it's not all about the money, man. It's all about you chasing your dream. He was like, you know, he still wakes up with regrets. My dad was an athlete, and you know, he had to, he didn't forego his dreams to, you know, do what he had to, you know, do certain things. But he was like, he still wakes up with regrets. He was like, just don't, you don't want to do that. Wake up with regrets, saying you, you could have, but you didn't. So that right there just stuck with me the whole night, man. The next day it was like a no-brainer, man. I just told him I was on board, and I called the overseas team and told him what I was doing, and uh, I thumped him. And now I'm here today with you guys. When you it's a mic to be here in the States for yeah. this time. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, man. In July, you were ready to go overseas. You overseas, were just, you know, packing you were, up yeah. for, for 12, 10 months and not seeing my family. Now I get to go home certain days, see my family. I can fly people in. and it, It's just a lot better, feeling a lot better setting, you know. So um, it's definitely a blessing, man. Truly, it's truly a blessing, man. And I just, I can't thank the Celtics enough for giving me this opportunity.